I decided to leave this example by itself because we're going to need all of our skills to be able to do this one. Three mixed numbers. Now, you can handle it. Again, the first thing you have to do is find a common denominator. We have a 5, a 10, and a 15. So over here, I'm going to go through and actually do my little common denominator, little figuring out. 5 is a done deal. That's already factored. 10 is 2 times 5. And 15 is 3 times 5. So at least their lowest common multiple, or lowest common denominator, whichever you want to prefer. Uh, take all the different factors we see. I see 2s, 3s, and 5s. No exponents for a change. I just multiply all that together. And that would give me 30. Whoops. There we go. So 30 is our common multiple. So we're going to have to convert each one of these guys. We can handle it. Just be very precise. Make sure we don't make an arithmetic mistake. Now, 5 goes into 6. Listen to me. 5 goes into 30 six times. That's what we'd have to multiply by to get our new memory. Don't reduce because I need to go back to your original. We need to have that in common. 3 is going to be our missing factor there. 10 times 3, so that means 7 times 3. Oops, apologize for that. And now down the bottom, this was missing the factor of 2 in the bottom. So now our top numerator there is going to have to be multiplied by 2. So we have all new fractions. And that's okay. We're literally now going to keep everything keep that 30 and let's see here we got 4, 5, 6, 7 talk to yourself as you do that addition there and that would be I did that right hard to talk and compute at the same time, but it looks like 26 and then 67 thirtieths. Common error, people are like, oh, done, circle it. No, you're not done. You want to go and clean this up. You cannot have this guy overflowing, right? So you're going to have to just pretend as if, what would happen if you had the 67 thirtieths just by itself? And find that as a mixed number. That would come out to be 2, and again, remember, remainder over the divisor. So that just has the equivalent, just this little piece, whoop, right there, just this little piece, has the equivalent of 2 and 7 thirtieths. But there's already 26, so now we have 28 and 7 thirtieths. We have to take this value and add it to the 26 we already have. And that's our final answer. So just watch. If you're dealing with some bigger numbers or uh, even dealing with uh, a lot of numbers, sometimes your fractional part will overflow. And so you just have to make that an improper fraction and add it to any whole number that you already have. Don't get scared with bigger numbers or a lot of numbers. You can do it. It's just like the earlier examples.